starting up EndNote. EndNote X7, the version I'll be showing you today, is compatible with Windows 8 and 7 and Vista. It's also compatible with Windows XP with Service Pack 3. I'm using Windows 8 here, which means I need to go back to the Start screen and click on the EndNote tile. In other versions of Windows, you would go to the Start button, then select All Programs, and select the EndNote group and the EndNote program. On Macintosh, you would go to the Applications folder, open the EndNote folder, and then start up the EndNote application. I see a window where it asks me about learning about EndNote. That would take me to the Help files, creating a new library, or opening an existing library. I'm going to close that window, just because you don't see that most of the time, and show you how you can get to those commands by going to the File menu. And I can create a new library here or open an existing library. We strongly suggest using just one library for all of your writing. It's going to make your life easier in the long run. One of the reasons for that, you can only synchronize one desktop library with one online library. So putting everything in one library means all of your references are in one place and you can easily search for them and get to them anywhere. On the web, on the desktop, or even on your iPad if you have our EndNote iPad app. I'm going to show you how to create a new library, but I'll be doing most of the work today in a sample library. So to make a new one, go to the File menu and then New. We suggest putting it in the Documents folder and My Documents. The default name EndNote gives it is My EndNote Library. I suggest changing that to something that's unique to you so that if you ever share your library with somebody else, you don't have the same library name. That way you don't get them mixed up. Now there are places you should not put your EndNote library. Do not ever put it in SharePoint, SkyDrive, Dropbox, um, Amazon Drive, SugarSync. I'm trying to think of all the ones I can think of that are SkyDrive services or online services. Don't put your EndNote library in any of them. They will corrupt the EndNote library over time. I've seen many, many people with corrupted libraries from putting it in Dropbox. You can put your documents there, but not your EndNote libraries. Also, don't put them on flash drives. There are also problems with flash drives for the working libraries. You can put backup copies, compressed libraries in those places, but your working library should not be there. So I'm putting it in my default documents folder, and I'm calling it EndNote Training. Click on the Save button, and I've created an EndNote library. And I can resize it if I want to. Let's tile that. It doesn't have much in it, but I would be adding them. So that's how you'll create your real library. And like I said, use one library for all of your writing and work. 